when it comes to Forspoken. We need to talk about Forspoken and I feel so bad. I don't know if you have heard the news, but the company got bought by Square Enix and that is probably and most likely because of the sales of Forspoken and a direct result of the council culture. I want to call it that actually. People were hating so much on the game and maybe I will be one of the few people that will speak up about Forspoken and say I loved the game. I platinum trophied Forspoken. I am replaying Forspoken. I have done everything in the game. I have been enjoying this game so much. I need to tell you guys this because like I said in my review bomb video, this game, I feel like it was done unjustly so. Review bombed and so many negative reviews to Forspoken. I don't get it. I actually don't get it. It is a fantastic, open world, beautiful game with parkour -y traversal. And this is like the smoothest parkour traversal I have seen or played in any video game. I am so used to that parkour -y traversal that when I am jumping into another game right now where my character is walking more slowly, I feel like I would just want to play Forspoken again. It feels so good, and I said this in my previous video about Forspoken, that it is so fun to play, fun to grind in, and it was so fun to do all of the trophies for this game, my very last trophy being upgrade all your spells. I had such a blast doing this. I still think that this is a great game. Now if you are on the fence, sure, get it on sale. It will most likely go on sale pretty soon because the sales were not doing good. But all the negative reviews, they were saying that the story was bad and that they didn't like the character. The character could have been improved a tiny bit. She was very rude. Even I thought so, you know. And that cringy cutscene, that was kind of viral for a moment. That is 0.01% of my game experience in the game. That passes by so fast. That is like in the beginning of the game. And I'm 70 hours in this game or more. I don't remember. But that did not define my experience with the game. It was actually the open world and let me just tell you, the combat, the magical combat, fantastic. When you have unlocked all of the four elements, it is so much fun. So much fun. I cannot stress that enough. I feel like the game had soul. The developers poured their souls into this game. I'm loving the regions of the game. And the game does not end after you have completed the, the main story. When the main story is done, I feel like that is when the game opens up. You have gotten all the four elements. There are so many hidden and secret world bosses to take on. And a lot of the late game, end game challenges there was one in particular that drove me almost nuts and that is getting to the far coast terrace. I did it eventually. And also that dancing trophy was terrible. <laughs> I had to get neighbor Stefan over here and help me with that one because that one was really hard. I found Forspoken to be a very good mindless game also. When you're done with the story stuff, which I paid a lot of attention into, it's a great game to turn your brain off in and just mindlessly do all of the objectives on this huge map. And I did all of the quests and I found the hidden store. I was so surprised when I found that. There are actually a few living NPCs out there in the world. Now the story is that you are this girl from New York going through this portal, <laughs> long story short, to this magical world where there is a break which is like a plague and all the people have sort of died to the plague and I've been reading a lot into the lore of the game which is huge and I think the lore that they created for this fantasy universe it definitely has the potential to get a sequel but that will probably never happen because the game was received so badly I just don't get it now, of course, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I am also, and I am saying that I loved it. It's kind of hard to argue against that the magical Parker, the actual way that you are traversing this world, that it is bad. The game is fun. It is probably the most fun that I've played this year, and someone predicted this on Discord, sort of, saying that, oh my god, I think Isha likes Forspoken more than Hogwarts Legacy. 
they are very different games. Now Hogwarts Legacy, such a game, but it is a bit slower. I love flying on the broom, I like the quests and I like the gameplay in that too. That is beautifully detailed. I have two videos of Hogwarts Legacy up on my channel. I've been so addicted to that also. But for Spoken, it's just like a different game. I like it in a different way. Maybe, yeah, I played for Spoken more than Hogwarts Legacy at this point. <laughs> I'm not done with Hogwarts Legacy. I have 60 hours in that one. I think I have 70 in Forspoken. But Forspoken has just been so fun to jump back into. I have been gravitated more towards Forspoken. <laughs> Just letting you guys know, I completed the game completely and the end game is where it is at. So I don't want you to brush that game off as a bad game because a lot of people are saying that it is bad. I will always love this game. So I think you should give it a chance sometime. Now that I am done with Forspoken and sort of soon done with Hogwarts Legacy, I am also right now playing a new game. It's not new, it's sort of new. Never mind. And that is Star Ocean The Divine Force. Review code provided, thank you. Now when it comes to Star Ocean, I am going into the series blind. I have never played a Star Ocean game before. I mean, I tried Fate fullness and integrity. Integrity and faithlessness, I mean. I think that was the title. Terrible title. But I did not get into that Star Ocean game. With this one, I feel the immediate improvement. And I am now becoming a fan of the series, at least this game. Now it is a JRPG with a fun story. The story is that this technologically advanced civilization dude is crash landing on this technologically far behind planet. And he meets this girl, Letitia. And this guy is trying to find some of the other pods that were landing on this planet. It's a whole thing. I like the voice acting, I like the story, I like the world, I like the gameplay. This game actually surprised me in a lot of ways. I did not expect me to play as much as I did or have already played. I thought to myself going into this game that I will give it like five hours or something. Now I'm way past that, I think I'm up in 15, because I haven't been able to put this game away. The traversal in the open areas, it's not an open world game, it's more like connected open areas, big areas though. You have this ability where you can sip fastly, like everywhere, and it is so much fun. Now the exploration part, it reminds me of a Xenoblade Chronicles game, and the combat actually reminds me of Ease games. Very fast, action-oriented combat. Very satisfying. And the combat music, so good. Now the game has a skill point system, skill trees, a lot of customization into every character of your party to make them stronger. That is a lot of fun to mess around with. The graphics, they are good, absolutely. But I feel like some of the actual animations are a bit stiff and their mouth is not moving correctly <laughs> when they're talking. I have a lot of fun smashing pots and flying on the rooftops, doing a bit of side quests. This game has a lot of fun factor in it. I'm actually surprised by this title. And it just passed me by. I know Happy Console Gamer said that he didn't get into this game. Now, I got into it. I am currently very into this game. And I have never liked a Star Ocean game before now. And the story is what keeps me playing, which very rarely happens. I feel like you don't have to have played any other Star Ocean game as I am jumping into this as a new person. Now I have a few recommendations and that is you can zoom out in the settings. It's kind of a hidden feature. If you feel like the character is too close to you, you can zoom the character out a bit. You can play as a female or male in the start of the story, you get that choice. And some of the story cutscenes are dependent on who you chose. If you want to see everything, actually, you have to play this game twice. <laughs> Definitely enjoying Star Ocean's The Divine Force, so that is what I'm playing on my PlayStation 5, along with a bit of VR. Check out my video on the PSVR 2, fun stuff. Also, I hope you give Forspoken a second glance, at least. I think it is deserving of that. And now I have recommended to you the newest Star Ocean, and I'm telling you, it is good. Xenoblady is, like, good. Now that was all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and liking, hitting that like button, and subscribing when you are new, or if you just haven't subscribed yet. 
Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you later. So exquisite.